In this corner, backed by his bunny manager Quickie, is a scoopable powder we all grew up on, now turned ready-made drink, except no substitutes, it's Nesquik. <laughs> and in this corner, it's the bizarre chocolatey drink that won't spoil in the summer heat. We've all seen it, but nobody knows what the hell is actually in it. It's the Enigma Yoo-Hoo! <laughs> Chocolate drink versus chocolate drink. You tried it. It's a You Tried That Showdown. Chocolate drink versus chocolate drink. I'm Nick Novak with my pals Chad Hancock. Howdy. Nick Geiger. Yo. (laughs) (laughs) This sounded like a man who's ready to drink chocolate drinks. (laughs) I'm so hyped. So this is a new format we've got here uh, where we're going to put two drinks head to head and see what comes out on top. Guys, what's your history with drinking chocolate fa- flavored drinks? Uh, I've, I've said on this podcast before that chocolate milk is basically my top beverage. I try to have it as much as possible. But these particular ones, I don't think I've had since a kid. Like I try to go for the high end, you know, kind of like artisanal chocolate milk. Yeah, we'll see how this uh, pedestrian stuff works out. Geiger, did you drink a lot of chocolate milk growing up? Uh, I mean, I did to a point until I found out that milk makes me flatulent and shit myself. So I kind of had to stop <laughs> then. But I mean, I think my mom, I feel like my mom mostly didn't buy chocolate milk. She would just make like the, put the Hershey syrup in regular milk, which as we now know, I think that just isn't as good. At least I personally don't think so. So they do make a lactate chocolate milk. That I will now once in a while get, and I and I house it because it is very tasty. But I did not grow up drinking a ton of it, so I'm looking forward to a rare treat slash bout of incontinence after we try these two drinks. <laughs> well, it's a good thing for you. We're recording this first in a series of episodes. <laughs> oh, Geiger, what would you rate this on this guy? Just like that, I gotta go. Guys. <laughs> I when I was a kid, chocolate milk was mostly white milk with. Uh, the Hershey's syrup squirted in and then mixed around. That's mostly what chocolate milk was. And then as I got a little older, sometimes we'd buy that big gallon, which that big gallon of chocolate milk, which I think is just super sugary. Yeah. And now I do tend to get, I I will get chocolate milk on occasion. I kind of like use it as a, oh, this has a lot of protein, so I should be drinking it as an excuse. Me too. That's my lame excuse. Yeah. (laughs) I just went for a run. I should put all those calories back on. Yeah, if you look at if you look up like chocolate milk as a recovery drink, there's like at least some fat asses who will like help make you feel better about using it for that purpose. So I like to read those articles. You're taking your health advice for someone you think is a fat ass. That's a good idea. <laughs> That's actually the name of the blog. It's called <laughs> the Fat Asses uh, Nutrition Facts. <laughs> And for sure, like, all those studies are sponsored by Big Milk, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. I don't remember having Yoohoo, and is it even chocolate milk? I don't recall ever having it. It says drink. It, they d- distinctly say drink, not milk. Non-fat dry milk is, like, the seventh ingredient. It contains milk. It does say it contains milk, but I think it's questionable how much of it is actually milk. It is mostly water, high fructose corn syrup, whey, and then less than 2% of and non-fat dry milk is included in that. And I wouldn't be able to use it for the protein excuse because it has, you know, where the Nesquik has 14 grams of protein and this uh, you who has got one. Also, it's kind of <laughs> hard to, like, look cool at the gym, like, oh, yeah, protein shake, I got this. Yoo-hoo! Like, you just, like, it's a <laughs> goofy name to be saying. It's in a child's <laughs> box. <laughs> just... <laughs> What do you bench, bro? Oh, cool. Hold on. I got to get this Yoohoo. Sip, sip. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely seen it in bottles, but uh, all three of us could only find it in these 10 packs <laughs> of uh, juice box style Yoohoo. Yeah, so. so if this isn't good, I'm going to be dumping nine juice boxes worth of Yoohoo down the sink in a little bit. <laughs> well, Novak can at least have children who will drink anything chocolatey. So I'm pretty sure I can pawn these on my kids. So we we do invite you to tell us what you think about these drinks. And uh, Geiger, where would they tell us where their feelings on, on chocolate drinks? I don't give a fuck about their feelings. No, um, <laughs> they, I'm kidding. Feel, I'm not sure why I used feelings. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> you can go to 
you try that at gmail.com. That's an email directly to us. If you want to share thoughts, uh, ask a mailbag question, give us your feedback. You can also find us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at slash hashtag slash whatever. You tried that and you'll get to us. So please do. All right. And we've got uh, a rating system for our two drinks. Normally, for those of you who have listened to the podcast before, we rate snacks on a five-point scale. But that's only things we eat. And now that we are doing a drink competition, <laughs> we cannot use that scale. So who, what scale are we going to use today? So we've got a chocolate drink-based uh, scale. So it's three-point system starting at the top. Highest rating is, I'm going to give this a chocolate wink. And then in the middle, this thing has taken me to the chocolate brink. And then the bottom rating, this thing is a fucking chocolate stink. (laughs) Yep, that's it. (laughs) Does it have to be a fucking chocolate stink? (laughs) (laughs) You got to emphasize how often. So is it, how many go in the stink? I forget, Chad, remind me. (laughs) One. The answer is one. Don't Google that. <laughs> How, when's the last time you guys were at the chocolate brink? <laughs> the Oreo tournament. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start with the Yoohoo. So it's, it says to shake it up, so... I hope you guys you are drinking it. I hope you shook it. I already shook it. Shook it. I'm feeling all the calcium and the vitamin D. Drinking this like a child out of a tiny box. All right. I'm inserting my straw. You put your one straw in the one stick. <laughs> <laughs> stick your straw right in that stick. No way. <laughs> we don't get the joy of drinking juice boxes anymore. But do you remember? You guys remember, I'm sure, as a kid, how terrible it was to have a Capri Sun at school and be unable to open it? Yes. Well, I didn't really get them ever, but I guess I commiserate more now as an adult even when my kids are haplessly jamming a straw into their juice box and missing and I'm helping them. I find the entire juice box uh, format just super annoying. Like you lose that plastic straw half the time because it like falls off the back or whatever. I was putting together an earthquake preparedness kit for my house here in San Francisco and I bought like uh, some pre-made like to-go backpack and it came with water in it that was all in like juice boxes. So like 20 juice boxes of water. And this seems like the worst, you know, like if it's the apocalypse and I'm like trying to fight my way through zombies in San Francisco or whatever, do I really want to be trying to drink water out of a juice box? No. What's the purpose? Like what's the thought behind it? It's recyclable better than these water bottles. Maybe cause it's square. So it uh, fits in a big box more easily than water bottles? I honestly don't know. Guess I'll find out in the apocalypse. <laughs> What's your schedule for when? And you want to tell everybody about that? Had no room for my flashlight because I didn't have a square-shaped water bottle. <laughs> I packed too much Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> These are 99% fat-free and caffeine-free. I guess I wasn't even concerned they had caffeine in them. I never thought to think of that. It's kind of like, again, these things that say like, this is gluten-free, and it's like a piece of celery. Like, yeah, no shit. There's no caffeine in here. All right, shall we rate it first, or should we move on to the quick? Oh, should we leave some suspense? Yeah, let's drink the quick. No, no. I mean, did any early th- – like, we didn't even – like, I drank the entire thing. Yeah, I guess we can say we thought of it. Uh, it's a chocolate drink. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste that different than chocolate milk. I know there's – it tastes like a not so good chocolate milk. It doesn't taste very chocolatey, is what I would say. It tastes more sweet than it does chocolatey. Yeah. All right. I'm going to open the nest quick. Quick spoiler I think we should have done the quick first because <laughs> I think it's less sweet than the Yuhu. Oh, yeah, for sure. Kind of tastes like water now. <laughs> yeah. You can tell that the first ingredient in the quick is actually milk because it's much, it's got the consistency of milk, whereas the other one is very thin. Right. It's creamier. It's definitely a more natural taste. Right. Now, they tell you that a thoughtful portion of this is half a bottle, so they're trying to kind of guide you to not drink a whole bottle. Well, geez, I think I put back half a bottle in my first three sips. <laughs> it also says, Geiger, change your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All chocolate milk, in a lot of ways, is made for kids, and this one is special. I mean, it's a cartoon bunny, bright yellow packaging, certainly marketed towards kids. Now this one, on the real quickly, on the top of yours, does it say limited edition? Yes. What it? What is? What's that mean? What? 
It's just chocolate milk. What is, is there like a diamond at the bottom of it or something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got to the bottom of that. I was just curious if you guys knew. <laughs> guys, when this podcast comes out, the limited edition will be gone and they won't understand what we're talking about. It's also a limited edition podcast <laughs> that we have going. Right. <laughs> we're, reach- we're rapidly reaching the limit of how many of these we can get people to download. Because after we talk about how many in the stink, nobody's listening to any more episodes. That was a teaser. We're going to tell them at the end how many go in the stink. Stay tuned after the ending music for the answer. In the next episode, find out how many in the pink. <laughs> I knew it. Well, who was going to bring up pink first? Well, it was a race to the pink. <laughs> Which is like usual. You don't want the stink. You'd rather have the pink. No, you definitely... If this is if there's a menage a trois, it's a race to the pink. Oh yeah, oh gee, it's a there's several sword fights on your way to the pink. <laughs> I'll explain what this means later to my family. On guard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let's we'll go one at a time, and we'll both we'll give our ratings to both, and then move on to uh, from person to person. So uh, as a reminder, it was chocolate wink. Chocolate brink, brink, and chocolate stink. That's right. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Geiger, why don't you uh, tell us your thoughts and ratings for both of these? Okay. So, like we already kind of covered, the Yuhu is fine. It doesn't necessarily taste that chocolate to me, and maybe because it is so thin, it basically just tastes like sugary water that's brown. It's probably a little healthier for you just because it's tiny, but other than that. It, nothing I would seek out. Um, the Nestle Quick, despite oh I'm sorry. So the rating on the Yuhu, I would give it a ugh, Nestle Brink, I guess. It, thought, it did not take me to the brink of <laughs> you, but, you gave the Yuhu a Nestle Brink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I can't really. Chocolate Brink? I don't, I'm sorry. These are so... You tried that. It's sponsored by Nestle. <laughs> You're going to love this, Nestle, because I thought, hey, you No, um, again, it wasn't terrible. It just was kind of there. So, But when I think when I think down the middle, I think, take me to the brink of chocolate. Uh, mm-hmm. Nestle Quick is going to make me <laughs> splatter my toilet bowl. However, <laughs> it's good. It is much thicker. I don't know if I'm liking it more just in comparison or if, like, I just had this on its own, it would still be so good. But this is a solid – what's what's the first one? Chocolate wink. Chocolate Wink. Yeah, of course. Chocolate wink. I'm giving it a, a Nestle wink. Uh, so wink <laughs> for the Nestle and a brink for the Yoohoo. Does the name of the milk describe – the speed at which it will move out of your stink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be a rapid onslaught on my stink. Um, it will like a, like an entire rabbit will probably fall out. <laughs> We're going to have a serious chocolate stink, and there's going to be I little water going you and just trickling out of my asshole as well. And your family will be taken to the brink. Yeah, well, I guess the the yuhu is so watery that I might just get rid of it through my version of my pink. Which is, nah, I'm just taking a piss. Is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, who else wants to rate this shit before I get fired? Yeah. Now, <laughs> Chad will continue our you tried that rating sponsored by Nestle Quick. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought was that the YooHoo actually tasted better, but I think that was just because it was sweeter. As I started to drink more, I realized that's not the case. The YooHoo is bad. It just tastes so artificial to me. It doesn't taste like chocolate milk at all. I mean, I guess it doesn't advertise itself as chocolate milk, but fuck you anyway, Yuhu. You get a chocolate stink. Nestle Quick, not much better. I mean, I guess in a pinch, if I really had some chocolate milk craving, it could satisfy it because it is, it does have milk in it. So it's actually a little bit creamy. But as far as like chocolate milk, I would pass over this for almost any other brand. So I'm going to give this one a chocolate break but it's definitely superior to the you so what is your preferred chocolate milk then like if this is like because you you talk about high-end chocolate milks like what's an example of that well i don't know if it's actually high-end but one of the most commonly available ones that i really like is called skinny cow which is actually a skim milk chocolate milk like a fat-free chocolate milk uh-huh. 
but it doesn't really taste fat free. Like it's still very like rich and creamy. Yeah. If you see that in the grocery store, the package for that is pretty funny. It's like this super thin cow, like lying on its side, like draw me like one of your French girls kind of pose. <laughs> but my, my all time favorite is Oberweiss dairy out oh, there right. in um, Chicago area. There, Theirs is amazing. All right. So I'm going to, the Yoohoo is not great, but it, I can't say that it's terrible. It is just okay. And say it's a real low end brink for me, just barely into the brink. I would drink it <laughs> in a pinch um, if it was like the apocalypse and I it only needed to bring square boxes. I would drink it. But the <laughs> quick, I here's the thing the quick is a lot better than the Yuhu, but not good enough to get a top rating for me. So they're going to fall into the same category. Really? I like. I like quick fine, but I agree with Chad. There's a lot of other chocolate milks that I drink way ahead of it. I really like that uh, Fairlife one that we had tried on a previous episode that was like a non with no lactose in it at all. I even would put this well below True Moo, which is sort of like the top, one of the top selling chocolate milks that's like easy to find. So I'm going to give both of these a brink, but there's still a clear winner in this head to head matchup, and that's uh, Nestle Quick. And they did not pay us to say that. I <laughs> I think part of my problem is I just don't drink milk at all. So like any of these taste good to me just because I almost right. never drink it. I have nothing to really compare it against other than lactate milk, which is fine. But it doesn't have any of that sweet, sweet ass rending lactose <laughs> in it. <laughs> like if I'm, I, there's, I will likely go finish this quick and not the Yoohoo. Yeah. You're not going to drink that whole case of you who we all bought? <laughs> ten individuals. You're not going to go. <laughs> I ten times have to make a conscious decision to open the you who. <laughs> I'm going to come over to No Exiles right after this podcast. He's just going to be laying in a pile of uh, empty you who boxes. But Geiger, can you you are going to get less sick from this you who, right? Well, yeah, it's not milk. I don't. I mean, there's very little milk in it. it just contains milk. And it's smaller. So if I drank one of these, like, say, tomorrow... And then they drank another quick on Wednesday. I'm guessing that you who will make me less sick. That is not an invitation to an experiment that I'm going to do. I'm just saying <laughs> that is probably what will happen. All right. Well, that does it for our short head to head episode. And uh, you can be expecting these from time to time, uh, just as our in our busy schedules, we try to fit in some entertainment for you every week. And the winner this week was Nestle Quick. And. That'll do it. We'll see you next time when we will be trying out three brand new snacks. Deuces. One in the pink, two in the stink. <laughs>